for your monthly love message for August 2022. Now, these are just spot readings and we're breaking it down into three messages, one for singles, one for those of you who are in a committed relationship and, and one for those of you who are in a situationship. Now, if these resonate with you and you want something further, please go ahead, email me at angelslighttarot at gmail.com and we will set something up for you. Okay, Capricorn, what's going on? Singles. And just to remind you, we are reading these all right side up to get out the positive energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the month. All right, angels. And yes, these are these are right side up as well. Angels, we're looking for some joy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for lovely, hardworking Capricorn. Singles, what is going on for you this month? Right out of the gate, we have self-respect and we have the tower. So for you, when it comes to love, I feel like there is someone in your world that you are ready to be done with. You are ready to cut the cords with them. Singles, so yes, I'm saying you're single. Single, but there is someone still hanging around some energy maybe from the past that you're ready to be show it's almost like oh okay I'm gonna put myself first here and I'm ready to let this go terminate okay now when we look in the middle of the month we have a life purpose and we have page of wands so in the middle of the month I feel like you are looking for that special someone that should be a part of your life that will move forward with you I feel like this person is definitely on a journey with you definitely want to walk that journey with you by your side and grow with you this is in the middle of the month I see that person entering your world and I'm gonna say they seem a little bit younger and if they're not younger they may act a little bit young but that's good for you because you can kind of lead the situation lead the direction if you will of this bond now and they feel I feel like they are they're fun you know because you know you need that balance Capricorn because ten, you tend to overwork or overthink things all right this person is bringing some light and joy into your world now when we look at the end of the month we have luminosity and we have the knight of wands so here we go at the end of the month you're focusing on that someone coming back into your world. The question is, singles, what are you going to do with that now that you've met this person that is a bit lighter, more, um, I want to say easier, if you will, to walk life with? What are you going to do? I see all of your focus on that person trying to come back. Let's take a peek here. Let's take a peek. What? what's the outcome of this what is the outcome when they come back mm. oh you're gonna be a bit you're gonna be a little tyrant when they come back you are not playing around I feel like you are going to put up a wall and just let them know that you are you're gonna focus here's the thing you feel like sometimes we feel like we need closure okay so I feel like you're thinking you need closure with this energy and maybe it's because how it ended so I feel like you're going to have your closure here okay now let's move on and, and it's and it's the way you want it not the way they want it but like they're coming back but they don't know what they're coming back to but you're definitely going to tell them okay all right so let's take a peek into those of you who are in a beautiful beautiful love bond angels high vibrations come on angels high vibrations for lovely lovely capricorn for those of you who are in a beautiful romantic committed bond all right angels just one more thank you thank you and thank you moving on to the next deck Remember, these are just spot readings. If you want something more in depth, please email me at yes, angelslighttarot at gmail.com. Capricorn. All right. Remember, always, always right side up. That was so weird how that showed up. Okay, so 
Um, you guys are looking for some fun? Uh, because I have sexuality here and we have a page of wands. I feel like you guys are taking a fun, loving trip together. At least you are planning that fun, loving trip. And this, this trip is alone. This is just you and your person. This is going to bring in, um, I feel like, I feel like it's going to bring in some fun. It's going to bring some freshness to your relationship. But with the Emperor card, I feel like there might be a little bit of a someone on this uh, journey, if you will. One of you is going to be a bit of a little bit of a bully, if you know what I mean. Kind of taking away the fun of it. Um, let's let's take a peek into that. How is that going to? Mm, how is that? Go that might be you and it might be them, but let's see what the outcome is in the middle of the month. Ah, you're going to work it out. You're not going to let that spoil your trip. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so let's take a peek at the end of the month. We have creativity and then we have the tower card. So I feel like you're trying all kinds of ways here with this relationship. This feels like a Hmm, the beginning of the month was really good. Now, the trip is okay because I feel like whatever happens, you're going to be able to emotionally work it through. At the end of the month, you're still trying that. You're still working on that emotional creativity. But I feel like the tower card, it feels like it's not working at the end of the month. Okay, how is that going to turn out with the tower card? Let's see. It doesn't always tower. Tower doesn't always have to be a negative thing. Thank you. Thank you, angels. Okay, the star card. All right, so yes, there's going to be an ending. There's going to be an ending, but right after, it's going to be a, a new beginning with the two of you, the star card. So yes, you're going to go through some a, a bit of a challenge. It's going to feel like, oh, this is the end, or maybe there's a big argument or things of that nature, like maybe they're not appreciative of how you are doing things or how you're trying to bring light into the relationship or fun like they already had their fun okay or you're feeling like maybe we already had our fun it's time to get back to work blah 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 i feel like i get this feeling that somebody is working too much maybe it's you or maybe it's them but you're trying i feel you pulling 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 because you want to have some fun and that kind of creates a breakdown but don't worry because with the star card it will all turn out okay yeah, more than okay. All right. Sometimes you just, sometimes that argument, sometimes we just need an argument. You know, it's that, yeah, that makeup, break up to make up kind of energy. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. Let's, what is that song? Makeup to break up. Boy, that's an old song. Yeah, I'm telling my age. All right. So let's move on here to Capricorns who are in a situation ship. Angels. High vibrations for Capricorns. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who are not necessarily in a relationship, but aren't necessarily single or out there on the um, dating scene. Okay. Thank you. And I feel like it's this one and I feel like it's this one. All right. We're going to keep on moving on here with the next deck. Angels, come on. Thank you. And thank you. Remember that you're always right side up to get out all the joy and the positive energy. So the beginning of the month, we have inner peace about this person. Yes, they they may not be as close and as warm as you would like them to be, but it is better to know it's the better. What is that saying? Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. You know who they are and you are fine with it, okay? Now, when we look in the middle of the month, I feel like they are literally becoming more and more close to you. You're feeling the connection is getting um, tighter, if you will, because you're feeling in the middle of the month, this is my person. Now, this is divine masculine, but trust it can show up as also divine feminine, depending on where you're sitting in the message. But in the middle of the month, there is truly a glow around the two of you when you are together. Now, at the end of the month, we have, we have life purpose with you two, self-respect, and we have strength. So by the end of the month, you feel like this person is a lesson. You definitely feel like there are a lesson that's teaching you about self-respect. You're going to have to have some strength here. 
Now, which way is this going to go? Angels, we need a clarifier on which way the situation ship is going to go. In the middle of the in the middle of the month, things look really good. Okay? Angels, which way is this going to go? When Capricorn claims a uh, uh, you know, I feel like you're going to do what empowers you and what balances this out. So if things are not balanced, if it's kind of not, if it's more one way than the other, you're going to do something. You're going to create something here that is going to make things balanced. I feel like we can't leave it there. Okay, we cannot leave it there. What is it that you are going to do to claim your respect in this situationship angels what is this we need to know capricorn wants to know i want to know what is it thank you thank you thank you you're going to take a sabbatical yeah i feel like you're going to be praying you're going to be meditating you might even go on a spiritual retreat but you're definitely taking a step back you're holding your power here you're taking your i feel like it is important here to gain your self-respect in this situation it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of strength to do that but i see you are doing that and that there lies your life purpose not this person but owning your own self-respect in this because in the middle in the beginning of the month you know that this person is a bit i want to say a bit cold okay but you kind of i want to say this but i don't want to say this but it's almost it almost feels like you're settling but i'm gonna leave that there okay so capricorn i send you joy namaste and much much love sent your way